Hello everyone. Spring is in the air. Turkey season is just around the corner. Today I'm doing an end of season review for the Cabela's Outfitter Gen 3 trail camera that I did a review for last season. Stay tuned. Okay everyone, as requested by Joe Racer Jr. in the comments for the camera review, here is the after season review for that camera. I really like this camera. For $99 for the kit and combo that you get, it does a really, really good job for what I'm using it for. If you're looking to get very high detailed photos across the board, you might want to look at a more high end camera, but you're also going to start to pay high end prices for that. For the $99 price tag to get a full kit and caboodle that's ready to sit in the woods and ready to start taking pictures, this one served my purposes great. It comes with the ability to not only do photographs, but also high definition videos. So for me, daytime photos were fantastic. Daytime videos, fantastic. Nighttime photos, any type of movement caused a little bit of a blur so there was a little bit of blur with the nighttime photos. The video did a lot better about the blur. It didn't blur as bad. The videos actually came out pretty well. One of the things I really love about this camera is the fact of its ease of use. You get a complete package of a 16 gigabyte card. You have AA batteries to run it. You have the straps put on the tree. You have everything that you need for that camera to start right then and there and use it in the field. One of my favorite features is the playback function on the camera itself with the full color screen. I've never had a camera before that had that on it. I love it. The ease of use to just to walk up to it in the field, go and look at the photos and the videos on the camera right then and there. Uh, when I first checked it, if there's anything on that was worth looking at or taking a deeper look at, I would go ahead and just pull that card, switch it out with another, bring that card home, throw it onto the computer, download the photos that I wanted, and then go from there. If there wasn't anything on there that I wanted, then I just simply formatted the card right then and there and had it set up and ready to run again as soon as I walked away. I definitely would recommend this camera for anyone looking for a good mid-range camera that is going to take sufficient photos, sufficient video, and have almost all season battery life. They claim you'll have an all season battery life and I never really tested that out. I will say that I started using the cameras in July, August. I didn't change batteries out until about late December, early January and there was still about half to a quarter of battery life left. I just didn't want to chance it with the cold weather coming to have less than full batteries. So I went ahead and switched the batteries out. You very well could get a full season of battery life out of the batteries in this camera. Hopefully this answers your questions, Joe, that you were looking for. It does a great job. A lot of very, very, very feature rich camera for the price point. Go check one out yourself, get one, utilize them. I got two that I run, we'll probably end up getting more when the time calls for it. Thank you so much for watching. We really are having a great time publishing these videos for everyone, and I hope you're having as great as time watching them, or you find them helpful. If you haven't already, go back, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and check out our other videos that we have. And if you do subscribe, make sure you hit that notification button so that you don't miss out on anything. Until the next one, stay safe out there, God bless you guys.